got out of the neuro lab and we're doing some RNA extractions this morning and now I'm heading to my GHP, my global health policy precept, which is just like a smaller class than the big lecture where we get to talk about the material. And yeah, it's such a beautiful day today, look. I got new Uggs and I'm really vibing. Liv, say hi to the vlog. Hello! <laughs> I am anxious, but the sky is blue. <laughs> the weather is beautiful. I am anxious, but the sky is blue. That is like how I feel. Exactly. <laughs> Good morning. Last night, um, I went out with my friends to Ivy, which is one of the eating clubs, and um, we had a risky business themed party, and it was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. It was a Tuesday night, which was a little bit rogue of us, but very, very fun. It felt good to just dance it out and be surrounded by people that were there to dance it out and we just felt good and now this morning I'm I'm gonna get ready right now and then go get some coffee with my friend Malia at Small World in town um, and then I have a global health policy lecture lunch and then I have a seminar actually I have a seminar for epigenetics which I really love and that's three hours, so that'll be pretty much the rest of my day. And then, actually that's, that's a lie, because I have to go to night chem lab tonight <laughs> from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. So really, I'm just gonna be in class all day, but it's okay, because I like my classes, and it's not nothing too bad. It's just gonna be a long day, but I actually got enough sleep. Ended up leaving the party kind of annoyingly early last night and just came home and went to bed. So that was definitely the right call for me because I need to sleep, um, especially when I'm going to be in class for like 10 hours. But it is midterms week right now and um, I got really lucky because, well, <laughs> depending how you look at it, I'm in Orgo right now or Organic Chemistry and we had our midterm on Monday. And midterms week isn't even technically until next week. So it's really nice because I am pretty much done with my midterms. I have a presentation next week in one of my classes. And I have some stuff due after, like we have a fall break for a week, the week after. So I have some stuff due after that, but like I'm not thinking about that right now. That's really far away. That's like a month away pretty much. So basically the last like two weeks sucked because I was just studying so much. But now I'm like really pretty much done and can chill and like relax and get my life together again which feels really good so today at some point if i have the time between all the madness i'm gonna try to go to the gym and um it's pretty rainy outside today so we'll see how that goes this semester has been really good so far 
I've liked it more than past semesters, I think mostly academically. And I think a big part of it is that the transition from being a sophomore to a junior here is huge. And I didn't really fully understand it until I was in it. If you're in a STEM department as a freshman and a sophomore, you're in like these big intro classes that are basically weed out classes, honestly. Like the exams are hard and people do well. So like you have to put in a lot of work and you have to like keep up and you're taking multiple. So you're just like spread thin. You do it and you get through it and whatever. But like, it's not, it's not my favorite way to learn. And then now as a junior, you're finally in a department, right? Like you finally declared where you want to spend the next two years where you want to do like which department you want to do your research in and what you want to major in you know like all of a sudden you're much more specialized in like what you're studying and because of that the department is like on your side theoretically and the classes that you're taking are so much smaller like the epigenetics class that i'm in right now is like 20 20 people I think and we the way that we're learning about epigenetics which is like a super hardcore science topic the way we're learning about it is by reading papers about it and then talking about it together and like that is so much more interesting in terms like as a learning method to me and like so much more engaging than to just have somebody talk at you for like an hour and a half twice a week and then have to like also take exams and all that like in this class there's no exams we have to present about a topic and we have to write a paper and we have to read a lot and like for me that's just so such a nice change after what my first two years looked like so anyway oh my god ah i just made such a mess oops Do you want me to push Wait, it up? Show it. Show it. Right <laughs> push it up. Push it up. Oh my god. What did you do, Lauren? Like removing your kidney. Alright, ready? Oh, my chalky milk. It's, it's not even chalky milk. It's, it's raw skim milk. Actually, it's super sad. Super sad. It's gonna be exploding. Let's go. You're not a psychopath. You just put chocolate sauce in the bottom of your milk. It'll get there. Right? It's not ready. She needs to sick, sip up the Hershey's syrup into the milk with everything. Good morning, lovely people. I have had a really hard time filming lately because it's midterms and as much as I was like relieved when I was done with my or organic chemistry midterm, things were still kind of crazy this week. So today I'm going to try to film more of my day. It's Saturday and it's kind of cold outside but it's sunny which I really am appreciating because we had a couple days of rain and it sucked. Totally sucked. I'm going to get my jacket on. This morning I'm going to head to TI and I'm gonna go do some work for a little bit and then my friend Claire is gonna come. We're gonna have breakfast together. And then I think I'm probably just gonna go to the library for a while because I need to get a head start on a presentation that I have for next week on Wednesday on a neural paper that is really complicated. I don't fully understand it yet. So gonna need to devote some time to that today. But I'm excited to get some studying done and on campus right now we have so much construction happening and like I appreciate that they're renovating the campus even though I'm not really totally sure why yeah so like everywhere we go basically they're just um, like construction and it's super loud and it blocks a lot of the walkways through campus so just a fun little little thing to come back to <laughs> Love you, Glennon.
Are you excited? Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> so they, they get it. Like I explained to them what time they get it. But then they also want to overcomplicate it. Can you wait for the vlog now, sir? <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> Can you wait for the vlog, Curtis? <laughs> Can you wait for the vlog, Claire? It's bounced on the yeah, trash can. <laughs> Are you like vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> like the oh first god. <laughs> you Wait, strike a pose. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Claire. Love you, Charlotte. Um. Single or double? Mm, single. Oh my god, love <laughs> them. <laughs> five and honestly I did not do the amount of work that I was hoping to do today but that's okay um it's okay I still have some time before um, I go out tonight with Olivia to go see a movie so I'm gonna try to like recoup a little bit and I'm gonna put some cozy clothes on and maybe call my family and um try to just chill out for a little bit before I try to do any more work because I'm just my brain's not working right now <gasps> if you don't have a squishmallow you need one
Sorry. Start this way a little bit more. So you end up right there. 